Jatasya Hidru Vomrityo, Jatasya Hidru Vomrityo, Druvang Jan Mamritasya Cha, Druvang Jan Mamritasya Cha, Tasmada Purihar Yerte, Tasmada Purihar Yerte, Natvang Shochitomar Hasi, Natvang Shochitomar Hasi. For one who has taken his birth, death is certain, and for one who is dead, Birth is certain. Therefore, in the unavoidable discharge of your duty, you should not lament. Hmm. This is Karma Ba. Uh, in the previous verse, Krishna tried to explain Bodha Ba, Nastika Ba, atheism. Atheist means one who does not believe in the soul. And God. These are correlative terms. If you understand what is soul, then you can understand what is God. If you understand what is God, then you can understand what is soul. But those who are agnostic, atheists, uh, they neither believe in God not in the soul. So combination of matter, here Krishna says in a different way that combination of matter is taking place and again it is being dismantled, that is going on. Either there is soul or not soul, just like Darwin's theory. Evolution of material body. So that is going on. One body is created, and the same body again annihilated, another body created, another body, the same body, and it is going on. So, where is the cause of lament? You cannot stop. You cannot stop this process. Jatasahi dhruva mitu dhruvang janma mritasacha tasmad apari harji arthi duty. The same thing is going on. Duty is very important thing. Krishna is stressing on it. One cannot stop his duty. Then he becomes sinful. That is karma bhakti. He, just like uh, so many people, they argue that we, if we discharge our duties nicely, uh, then uh, where is the need of accepting God? The Karmabad philosophy is that uh, if there is God, then Uh, He is giving us the result of our activities as if I do uh, nicely, then He gives me nice opportunity. Uh, And if I do not do things very nicely, I am put into suffering. So there is a karmaphal data decides that the high court judge, he is giving judgment according to the case, different cases. Similarly, our uh, goodness or uh, badness will be decided according to our karma. That is also fact. Then what is the use of accepting one God? If I do my duties very nicely, then He must give me nice results. Why should I worship him? Why should I become a devotee of God? It is his duty. This is karma. Everyone is trying to avoid the principle of devotional service. It is only we, the Krishna conscious person, we are advocating the philosophy of Bhagavad Gita. Manmana bhava madhyadi magna muskuru. 
Krishna says that all is think of me. These karmavadis, they will say, why shall I waste my time thinking of Krishna? If I do my duty nicely, then I will get good result. Why shall I be devotee of Krishna? This is their argument. One uh, Arya Samaji postmaster, long ago, not very long ago, 1956, uh, in Delhi at that time I was publishing this Back to Godhead. So uh, we had concession rate for posting. And it was to be delivered to the postmaster. So the postmaster was talking with me about the paper back to Godhead. He uh, raised the same question. He said, if we do our duty nicely, then what is the use of worshipping God? If we become honest, if we become moral, if we do not do anything which is harmful to anyone, in this way, if we act, then where is the... because our paper's name is Back to Godhead. So he was indirectly protesting, what is the use of propagating this philosophy of Godhead if we act nice? The Arya Samaj's view they are called, uh, there is a, in his name, what is called? Mm. I forget now. Oh. Moralist, the technical name there is. <coughs> anyway, oh. this is their point of view. Mm. How to avoid God? So I replied uh, that. If one is not God-conscious, he cannot be moralist, he cannot be truthful, he cannot be honest. Uh, This is our point. Uh, uh, You study the whole world only on these three points, morality, honest, uh, and dutiful, so many nice things are there. But uh, if he is not God-conscious, he cannot continue such thing. Uh, he must fail. Uh, even the, uh, there are so many instances. Uh, even amongst the uh, devotees, because this uh, material world is made so that you cannot continue this principle uh, perpetually. Uh, that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita, I will find, because the three uh, modes of material nature is working. Even if you are on the platform of goodness, the other modes of material nature will uh, try to attack you. And your goodness, morality, uh, honesty, this thing will be uh, polluted by the onslaught of the other two uh, inferior modes of nature. Uh, Therefore sometimes we find that a very nice man committing some uh, sinful activities. So the decision of the Srimad Bhagavatam is Harama Bhaktasya Kuto Mahad Guna. Mahad Guna, uh, we can find it easily, just like we say uh, that no illicit sex, no meat eating, we consider this is sinful. But there are others big, big leaders, politicians, philosophers, 
even religious priests, they do not think that uh, this is immoral or this is sinful. Meat eating is sinful. Wow, what is the sin there? Uh, illicit sex, uh, what is wrong there? Intoxication, what is wrong there? They do not find any immorality. Uh, so this standard of morality, there cannot be fixed up if one is not God conscious. There cannot be. Standard of morality, uh, standard of goodness, cannot. That is the decision of this Simad Bhagavat. Rama Bhakta Sakutu Mahaduguna. Lack of Krishna consciousness. Uh, they think that animal has no soul. Uh, they do not accept this morality that animal cannot be killed. Uh, it is sinful, it is immoral. Uh, they have created their own theory. Uh, so without being standardized by Krishna consciousness or God consciousness, you cannot find the uh, standard platform of morality, honesty. These things you cannot find. This is not possible. Therefore, the verdict of the Srimad Bhagavatam is Rava Bhakta Sakutu Mahadaguna. Just like if you uh, do not follow a standard law, how you can fix up this is morality or this is honesty or dishonesty? That must be standard law. And who can give you the law unless? He is the greatest authority. So, uh, law changes according to different countries, climate, situation. So, man made law cannot give you standard morality, honesty. It is not possible. Because one will think this is morality, another will think, no, this is not morality. Same thing. Keep to the left, keep to the right. Somebody says, keep to the left is right. Somebody says, keep to the left, it is right. Mano rathe nasato dhavato vahi. Because those who are not Krishna conscious, they are hovering on the mental plane. They cannot be, there cannot be any fixed up morality, honesty, dishonesty, no. And rascals will also say, jatamat tatamat, tatapat. Means whatever you think is all right, that is all right. According to you, your conception, this is right. And according to my conception, both of them are right. How both of them can be right? So these contradictions, opposing elements, will continue unless there is Krishna consciousness. So this is not a fact that the karmavadis simply by discharging your duties nicely. Uh, this is uh, on principle it is all right. But we must know what is actual morality. Uh, there are so many examples. Just like uh, when there is war to kill the enemies, that is morality. But in peaceful condition, if you kill a person, there is immorality or sin. The process is the same. Morality uh, or immorality, the process is the same. But sometimes it is moral, sometimes it is immoral. How it will be standardized? Therefore, Bhagavad says, dharmandu sakshat bhagavat pranitam. Real dharma, real religion, morality, honesty, they can be decided on the words of the Supreme Law. That is the When Krishna says, this is all right, then it is all right. 
When Krishna says it is not right, then it is not right. This is our decision. We Krishna conscious man, we simply accept, and that is a fact. That is a fact in this way because Krishna is the greatest authority, supreme being. Supreme means the greatest authority. Uh, just like state says, now it is what time? If you kill um, a number of enemies, then you will be awarded with gold medal. Uh, the same process of killing. Uh, but uh, at this, uh, and another time, when there is no war, if you kill one person, you will be hanged. The killing process is the same, but the judgment is given by the greatest authority, the government. This is all right, this is not right. Therefore, standard of morality means to abide by the orders of the greatest authority. That is standard of morality. This is the conclusion. You cannot make your own morality. When Krishna says, this is all right, then it is all right. Otherwise it is not. Krishna says, patram puspam phalam toyam jomi bhaktya prajachyati. If somebody offers me uh, uh, vegetables, leaves, uh, grains, meal, water, flowers, uh, then I accept. So this is nice food stuff. It is to be accepted because Krishna likes to eat this. Krishna can eat anything because He is the Supreme. He is omnipotent. He can eat anything. But He particularly mentions this. Therefore, food stuff made of these ingredients is nice, sati, goodness. So the karmabha that you follow morality, you'll get good result. But where is your morality? Because you are disobedient to God. In the beginning of your life, you are immoral. You are disobeying the greatest authority. There is another example, a story, that a gang of thieves, they stolen some property, from different houses, then out of the village they are dividing amongst themselves the booties. So one thief is saying, please divide it morally so that one may not be cheated. Now just imagine the property is stolen. Where is the morality? There. But when dividing, they are thinking of morality. The basic principle is immoral. Where you can uh, have morality. Uh, similarly, according to Vedic injunction, Ishavasamidam Sarvam, everything belongs to the Supreme Personality of God. Uh, it is His property. So, the whole planet is God's property, whole universe is God's property. But when you are claiming that this is my property, then where is morality? If you, are, if you claim others' property as your property, then where is the morality? So in this material world, uh, such kind of morality, honesty is going on. But our morality is, if Krishna is satisfied, then it is honesty, morality, everything. There are many examples. There is a Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj is standing and his father is being killed by Nishingade in his presence. So do you think it is morality that one's father is being killed in the presence of his son and the son without protest is seen with a garland that as soon as my father is killed, I shall offer this garland to Nishimhade. Is it morality from material point of view? 
we are worshiping prahlad maharaj has become mahajan eh? the greatest authority in devotional service but if we study his morality that he did not protest the killing of his father rather he was waiting with a garland that as soon as the killing business is finished i will revolve this is mm-hmm. where is material morality there is no morality the gopis there are young girls wife of somebody sister of somebody daughter of somebody but when krishna was playing on his flute at dead of night uh, they gave up all their engagement and began to run where krishna is present so from vedic standard of view this is immoral uh, they are going to another young boy and living family uh, even somebody uh, some of the gopis uh, they left their sons also went to Krishna. from material point of view this is immoral so he will find in such a way that uh, what is his form material point of view immoral it is the most magnificent morality in relationship with krishna and similarly uh, uh, in the from material point of view what is moral that is most uh, i mean shabhavinabu from the point of view just like judishthir maharaj judishthir maharaj became very moral krishna advised him just go and tell dronacharya that your son is dead although his son was not dead because dronacharya will not die unless he hears the news of his, the death of his son he will not die no. so he will not believe any more but judishthir maharaj is famous very moral so krishna asked him that you go otherwise he will not believe anyone so judishthir maharaj hesitated so how can i say lies so for this he had to see hell it became immoral man nimitte kritam papam punna eva kalpat so our standard of morality and immorality is to see whether krishna is satisfied if krishna is satisfied then it is morality if krishna is dissatisfied then it is moral and krishna is represented here also therefore it is said jasya prasadat bhagavat prasad jasya prasadat nagati putu our morality is to satisfy krishna or is represented Guru, just sab prasad. If he is satisfied, then it is mala. If he is not satisfied, then it is mala. Nagati kuto. So this karma ba that uh, you act nicely and you will get nice result. Uh, that is our diet. Uh, but there may be some mistakes. there there are so many instances one uh, very great charitable king uh, uh, he was giving in charity so many cows uh, to the brahmanas so there was some mistake and for that purpose he although he was all throughout his whole life he was giving in charity a little mistake uh, he became a big lizard in the world therefore the conclusion is that this material morality immorality has no value uh, spiritual morality spiritual morality means to abide by the order of krishna that is one uh, whatever krishna says if we accept samsiddhi harito sana many places atapung vi dija shreshtha वर्णाश्रम विभाग सानुष्ठित धर्म से संसिधि हरि तो 
in many places. Sanu sthitasya dharmasya. Sanu siddhi harito sanu. In another place that if you execute your morality principles, but if by executing such morality principle you do not, uh, I mean, say, awaken your Krishna consciousness, it is simply waste of time. The, wherever you go, the Bhagavad conclusion, Harava Bhakta Sakuto Mahudguna, uh, we have to keep in point of view that uh, to become, Krishna also says in the Bhagavad Gita, opiche sudurachara bhajate mahananya bha sadhuri vasamanta. Even one is found sudurachara, not very strictly following moral principles, but he is a unflinching devotee of Krishna. He is sadhu. These things are there. Therefore, the point should be that we should not accept this karma-bhāt or the bodhya-bhāt or maya-bhāt. There are so many bhāt. We shall simply take Krishna-bhāt. Simply, simply accept Krishna. Uh, and whatever He orders, whatever He likes, for His satisfaction we shall do anything and everything. That is our moral. Thank you very much. Thank you.